This lesson is for basic adult students who are native English speakers. Let's begin, shall we? These are the consonants that are shared between the Korean language and the English language. G N D R M B S J C H or CH K T P and H. As native English speakers, you know that each of these consonants has its own sound. Let's practice together. G N D R M B S J Ch K T P and h. In the Korean language, these same sounds are made. However, the character representing those sounds is different. I'll write those characters for you to see now. Okay, now, although this already looks foreign to you, the Korean character or the Korean consonant has the same sound value as the English consonant. For instance, g, n, d, r, m, b, s, j, ch, k, t, p. It's that simple. That is your first lesson in basic Korean. These are the Korean consonants. So let's review once again. G, n, d, r, m, b, s, j, ch, k, t, p, h. Now, before we move on to our next lesson, I want to call your attention to this area here, all right? I've left it blank. I added these dot, dot, dots here because this indicates that the, although I've written something here, that there is nothing here, something and nothing, all right? And that's how I want to introduce you to young. all right? I'll write it here. All right. Now, in the Korean language, first, I will write it. I'll write it in Korean. Okay, it's a basic circle, a sphere, it's round. Some of you may call this a, a cipher, okay? Now, this symbol here can be read in two ways. One, it can be read as nothing at all. So that means that there is no sound. When you see this symbol, there's no sound made. Or you can produce the sound of N G, just as running, hunting, that N G, ng, ng. That is the sound that this symbol produces. Ng, ng. Okay? So this is one more consonant to add to the list of consonants, all right, in the Korean language. Peace. At this point, you know that Korean consonants and English consonants have the same sound. But what you probably don't know is how to identify and differentiate one Korean consonant from the other simply by looking at it. I will write the Korean consonants so that you too can write the Korean consonant as well as identify it and produce the sound that it makes. In English, we know this to be the letter G. In Korean, it is called Gyeok, and it is written 
the G in English, G, and the Gyuk in Korean, G. Now, the name of this character, learning the names of the characters at this point may be difficult. I will use them, but it is not incumbent upon you to memorize them at this time. Focus on how this character has been written and the sound that it produces. G. The letter N in English, Mian in Korean, N, N. The letter D in English and Digut in Korean. The sound, D. The letter R in English, Liel in Korean. The sound, R. Now, this is a very tricky character in Korean because not only does this character have the sound value of the R, but it also has the sound of the L. L and R. Now, if you've watched the Chappelle show and you've seen that uh, pixie sketch wherein there's a Japanese man and he's wrestling with himself um, and he's because he doesn't want to mispronounce uh, Lala's name, um, you know, the reason that he had such difficulty um, pronouncing Lala's name is because in Chinese, in Korean, and in Japanese, in particular, this uh, R sound and the L sound are very similar. L and R, L and R. However, in English, we know that they are very distinct sounds, but in, the, in those particular Asian languages, uh, these sounds are so similar that the difference is uh, overlooked. And when speech is produced, when speaking Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, then the L or the R is really, uh, the, the difference is pretty much glossed over. And that's why sometimes people will say uh, lice when they really mean rice. Or when they say, let me give you an example. My name is Larry. And it's very difficult for uh, Koreans, native English, native Korean speakers to say Larry. They often say Rari. This is the reason. This is the reason why you have one character in the Korean language that is used to represent two sounds, the L l, and the R, r which are very subtly different, okay? The letter M in English and Miam in Korean. The sound M. The letter B in English and B in Korean. The sound B. Just as with the L and the R, this B can also be confused with the letter P. So this B, B, can also be confused with P, P. Now, what you will find is that there is a particular, there is a particular letter or character in Korean for the letter P and only for the letter P. All right? P. P. This is 
B, B up, B up, P up. The difference is very subtle, okay? But you should know the difference. Remember that this B up may, may be confused with the B or the P, but this P up is never confused with the B. It's always a P sound. The letter S in English and Shia in Korean. <laughs> yes, this does sound like shit. Shiat, shiat, shiat. Yes, it does sound like that. This is the letter S, and this is the shiat in Korean. The sound S in English, S, S. In Korean, this is sh, 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 like sh, okay? The Korean, the Korean consonants will have different values or different sound qualities depending on uh, which uh, vowel uh, it is located near. So in general, this is the S, 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 okay? But it may also be confused, uh, excuse me, not confused. It, it will become confusing because this uh, does also sometimes uh, produce the sound of a T. But not to confuse you now, this is the S and S. This is Shiat. Here I've written the ellipsis. And I'm writing this because for me, this denotes there's no sound. This is a different sound. Ng, ng, ng. All right. And both are represented by one Korean consonant. Okay. And depending on this, the position of this consonant, whether it is at the uh, beginning of a word or at the end, um, two different sounds will be produced. Either there will be no sound or there will be an ng, ng sound. All right. This is the ng and this is yung, yung in Korean. Again, don't worry about the names. In English, this is the J. In Korean, Jia. The Jia looks very similar to the Shia, except it has this little hat. The sound, J, J, just as J, as in jam, as in joke. This is the CH in English, literally two consonants combined to create the CH or the CH sound. And this is CHIA in Korean, CHIA. And the CHIA has a, a hat similar to JIA, and it has the body of CHIA, okay? But then it has a, a little a little, maybe it's a top hat now. Uh, I don't know. Something, something above it, okay? And that distinguishes the chiat from the jiat. In English, this is the letter K. In Korean, this is kyok. The sound is k, as a k sounds. Now, the kyok looks like a number seven. Line here, line here, with a little line here. It also looks like 
a reversed or a backwards letter F. One thing about the letter F in Korean, there is no letter F in Korean. K, kiok. This is the letter P in English. This is P up in Korean. The sound P. Now recall, not to be confused with B up, this P only has one sound and that's the sound of the P. P, 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 P. This is P up in Korean, the letter P in English. The letter H. In English, hiat in Korean. Hiat. The sound, huh, huh. Okay. To write the hiat or to identify it, there is a, a hat above a cipher or a circle below. So there's a line here, a line here, and a line here. Now, what I will say is that each component of this letter, here, each component, let's see, that line there, this line here, and this line here, these are all fundamental lines in Korean. You see, this line here represents something this line here represents something else, and this line here, this circle here, represents something else. I will leave it to your imagination to guess what each of these symbols means. All right, guys. Now, something that is very important uh, is to, when writing, when learning to write Korean uh, characters, um, you must follow a prescribed method, okay? And what that method is, is, uh, let's see, left to right and top to bottom. So when we're writing in Korean, we begin from the left and we move to the right, and then we write from the top to the bottom. There are some exceptions to this rule. However, in general, this is the prescribed method that you should use. Um, this method is also used in Chinese, and although I haven't studied Japanese, I presume that the Japanese use it as well certainly is used in Korea. That is the first lesson in learning to write the Korean script, Hangul. That is its name. All right, did you guess what each of these characters represents? Well, I'll tell you, this represents human beings. Mankind, man. This represents Earth. And this, this represents the sky. Man, Earth, and sky. And when we put, when we put these together, we come up with, I'll write it here, Here, the H sound in Korean. 